Hello, my name is Mamster, and as you can tell by my drawings of myself here, I am indeed a giant hamster. Now you might be wondering, how did an anomaly such as myself come to be in real life? Well, don't you worry, I'm way ahead of you there. So before you start questioning reality as you know it, sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and allow me to tell you my life story in drawings. Me, Mamster the Giant Hamster. Our story starts quite a few decades ago with a young guy named George A. Hamster. My Gramster, or Grandpa as most call them. He was a top-notch animator at the biggest and most prosperous animation studio in the world. For copyright reasons, I can't say the name of the studio specifically. You know how it goes. Anyway, he was a beloved fellow at the studio, able to draw anything. But what he really wanted was to settle down and have a family. In fact, the reason he became an animator wasn't for the fame or glory, but to delight children all over the world. To give him some much needed company, he bought two unrelated baby hamsters to keep at the studio while doing long nights and the grand work the producers kept giving him. Then one night, when he was reaching his creative breaking point, he followed the studio's famous motto and wished upon a star for a chance to have a family. And wouldn't you know it, the very next morning, he woke up and the two hamsters, who were genetically unrelated, were two human-baby hamster hybrids. And while it was a bit unorthodox, those kids gave him his true purpose in life. And at the height of his career, he left the studio and moved across the country to a small town in New Jersey to raise his adoptive kids. There, he took up a job as a bank teller to make ends meet. And while it wasn't the most prestigious job, it paid well, and he was able to spend time with his kids. He named the kids, weirdly enough, Daddy and Mommy Hamster. Hey, I never said he was talented at choosing names. In school, they didn't really fit in with the other kids, but they didn't let that get to them. They knew they were the odd ones out, and they accepted that. There was nothing they could do about it after all, but through the years, they had each other to confide in, and eventually, they got married. And keep in mind, they are not related to each other genetically, so yet again, while they were raised together, it is perfectly normal for them to be together romantically. Then again, is anything really that normal in this story so far? Daddy followed his dream and became a lumberjack who cuts down dead trees, while Mommy followed her dream and became a hairstylist where she's able to keep up with all the latest housewife drama. With Gramster's help, of course, they still managed to balance out their work life with raising their kids. Oh yeah, didn't I mention? They had kids! My older sister Tamster, me, my younger sister Pamster, and my younger brother Jamster. Still keeping that silly name tradition well and alive. Tamster is pretty full of herself to say the least. She's a professional model who really only caters to a certain group of people on the internet. You know, the ones who love furry creatures a bit too much. My sister Pamster is obsessed with cows. In fact, her whole room is decked out in cow stuff. She's basically a crazy cow lady, but hopefully she's able to follow her dream and own her own cattle ranch someday. While my brother Jamster does spend a lot of time up in his room playing video games, we're still very close together because we like to watch and critique a lot of movies together, and I use him to bounce off my creative ideas on, although sometimes his judgment is a bit basic. But speaking of me, you're probably wondering what I do in life. Well, I decided to follow in my Gramster's footsteps and become something of a successful animated filmmaker myself. And I'm fortunate enough to have some friends to help me out with that. Simon Petrowski, or Petey for short, is my closest buddy. Physically, we're quite different than regular people in that I'm a giant hamster and he's a pinhead. But only by appearance. His brain still functions as a regular human being's when he's not going around putting random objects on our ex-teacher's lawns, that is. But I'm a good traditional artist, and Petey's a whiz with digital art programs, so we work pretty well together creatively on our short films, and we get along as best friends should, even if he's a bit more than reckless from time to time. Our hope is to one day get our own animated show on a network, and make our own hours and rules, and really enjoy our work. But talent isn't everything. We also need to get ourselves known, 
That's where our friend, Nia Lee, comes in. She's our social media warrior, in charge of posting about us in our short films on the social media platforms, and she's also the one in charge of scheduling when we get our short films done. Unfortunately, Nia has OCD, so while she does get a bit hyper-anxious about how certain things get done, we always help her mellow down and work with her to keep ourselves on track. They've been my best friends since middle school, when we were all in the same vocational program together and bonded over our love of cartoons. Lastly, you may be asking yourselves, where do we get our money from? Luckily, we all have jobs that we hate. I work at a gas station, Petey works at a retail store, and Nia works as a waitress. And that just pays for our apartments. So how do we pay to make our short films? That's where my other roommate, Carmine Vitalini, comes in. He's Nia's cousin, and when Petey and I were looking for another roommate, because you know those hefty apartment bills ain't going to be paid by just two people, Nia suggested Carmine. And in keeping with the coincidental physical abnormality theme of this story, he just so happens to be a dwarf. Carmine's been involved in a lot of, let's say, dealings throughout his life, and he's built up quite a financial safety net. He loved our work and decided to invest in us and help make our dreams come true. So as you can plainly see, I'm surrounded by quite an interesting array of people in my life. Honestly, I'm just kind of the sane rational one outside of being a doodling gigantic fuzzy hamster. I know I'm never going to be able to have a family or children of my own. I just want to help people of all ages feel entertained by my creations, like my gramster did all those years ago. The smiles of joy that I can give people from a distance will make my life all worthwhile. Me, Mamster the Giant Hamster. Phew, what a speech that was. I hope you were able to get something out of this little story of mine, and I hope you- Master Baby, it's Mom and Dad! You forgot your underwear at the house, and we have it for you, bud. That's all, folks. Why?